<laughs> He's back! Whoa there! Careful now, Dojima-san. Ow! Damn it! Who, who built a step here? That'd be the carpenter, sir. Come on, don't take your anger out on the house. That won't solve anything. Woo! I'm home! Not a call! I'm back! Well, welcome back. Oh, hi, Nanako-chan. Sorry, but could you go get his futon ready? Phew, I think he had a little too much to drink. <laughs> How else <clears throat> am I supposed to deal with this crap? Friggin' fancy-talking kid. I... I've been in this line of work since you were all learning your times tables. The Prefectural Police sent in special investigational support. Cause, you know, we haven't really made any progress on the serial murder since they started in April. <laughs> so this special support is supposedly a hotshot detective from a well-known private agency. But you should have seen the look on my face when I met him. He's only a kid your age. I hear he's a pretty sharp cookie, though. Oh, he's a brat like any other. Ain't nothing he can do to help. <laughs> he goes on and on about deductions and deductions. <laughs> ace or no ace, the prefecture ought to be more careful about giving us brats to babysit. Con condescending bastards. <laughs> the kid said as long as he can be of assistance in solving a difficult case, he won't require a reward. Well, you can imagine the shine the higher-ups took to him after that. So we can't exactly turn him down. Godachi! Gah, sorry. Me and my big mouth. You run your jaw like this is all some kind of joke. It's your fault to begin with for jumping the gun and hauling in that peeping Tom. Oh, <laughs> um... And you? You can take your share of the blame, too. Always wandering around crime scenes whenever something happens. His futon's ready. All right, Dojima-san, up and at him. Nanako-chan got your futon all ready for you. Um, uh, um. Sure does stink like sake in here.
See you later.
You're back. Hey. Welcome! <sighs> Thanks, man.
Kidding? Welcome back.
Hey, big bro.
Yo.
They look good. Great vegetables. to have this.
I'm sorry. Bye then. Oh, you're home. Oh, mm. as you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residents are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do. You killed me. You are a murderer. By your silent smile. By your composed voice. By your dark eyes. By your bashful fingers. I am slain. I am a corpse. Foolish. Wretched. Happy. Surely I'll simply rot away. My last words. Adieu. Au revoir.
is this? Welcome to the Velvet Room.